Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and today we will be answering the question, the age-old question that is, when was Phil Heath at his all-time best? Now there is no doubt in my mind that it is one of these two versions, 2011 and 2013. Now I did this comparison quite a while ago, and I watched the video, it lacked a front lat spread for some reason. It lacked an ab and thigh for whatever reason. And you know what I'm saying, guys. It did. It only had one version. And today, I will bring you guys the Friday show, the Saturday show. So we'll have both versions. Not only that, but I'm going to do the complete first day first. I'm going to go through all of those poses, make my decision. And then we will have a look at all of the Saturday, the finals. So... It's going to be a little bit more exciting, and not only that, guys, but it's going to be a whole lot more fair to see, and we'll actually see which version is better. So, without further ado, guys, front double bicep pose. Now, very similar, each version, but both versions have their qualities. A little bit different here, a little bit different there. I'm going to say 2013 looks like he means more business as far as the arm development is concerned, Maybe slightly less symmetrical. I think maybe his, his left arm looks a little bit larger than his right arm. But then again, guys, you look at the lats, and I feel that the, in particular, the low half of the lats, the lower end of the lats, they look a little bit better for 2011. Legs are pretty even, actually. Maybe slightly bigger for 2013. Hard to really say. But like I said, the lats may be a little bit better. So the V taper is better. Maybe slightly better in the midsection as well for 2011. But like I said, guys, the arms look slightly better for 2013. And then we go for the conditioning. You can see the, the vascularity level for 2013. He definitely looks like he is a little bit fuller, a little bit more vascular, maybe better conditioned. So, Kel Surprise for, uh, for Mark's Max Muscle. Let's carry on with the front lat spreads, in which case... It's a similar decision here. 2013, guys. This is really a, a shock to me. He appears to be fuller, bigger, more vascular. Not only that, but when you look at the lats themselves, he's probably just as good. So it was hard to say. Maybe it was the smaller midsection in the front double by that created that V taper that I, I, I thought I'd seen. Anyway... The lats look just as good here for 2013. So, like I said, guys, I'm a little bit shocked. But then when you look at the midsections, there is a definite advantage for 2011. So, you know, it's not a, a total blowout. But in my mind, and even look, look at the, the pecs even. Look at the, the vascularity, the, the strish, cross striations in his pecs for 2013. So, as is, guys, first two poses... Definitely 2013, but this is far, far from over. Side chest development, and more bad news for you people rooting for the 2011 version, which I was myself, guys, and I am shocked, I'm surprised, bamboozled, really. From the muscle separation in the arms, look at the vascularity, the delts, buys and tries, to the, to the hanging hamstrings. To the quads, I mean, 2013, running roughshod, running roughshod over 2011. Just a bigger, better version. Look at the pecs, much fuller, a little bit more ripped maybe for 2011 in that area, but still. Glutes maybe, food for thought, glutes might be a little bit more striated from what you can see here for 2011. But nothing doing, guys. It appears for the the, the Friday show, or the, the first day, I guess, uh, 2013, running roughshod, like I said. Go to the hoo-ha position. And as we know, this is not a mandatory shot. And you can see the, the tricep better for 2011. For those of you who are rooting for, for anything that you can see positive for 2011. But I think that's more of the angle of the shot. A little bit thicker in the midsection for 2013. Hard to really gauge this one. So, And it's not a mandatory shot. Let's go to a mandatory shot, the side tricep. You'll notice I put the side tricep along with the side chest. I figure they should do the two front, two side, two back, then finish off Aventhi, most muscular. But hey, that's just me. 2013, and I watched my old video, like I said, 
And I even give this one to 2013 because the tricep, much better, much more striated, as you can see. But I like, uh, you're going to give points for, uh, for style, I guess, for 2011. Not only that, but the midsection is clearly more chiseled for 2011. But still, guys, nothing doing. Now, let's have a look at the all-important back shots. And if this is not favorable for 2011, this could really seal the fate for that version, in my opinion, that is. And rated right of the shoot, there is some controversy. It's not hit at the same angle, these Christmas tree poses. I mean, I the, the Christmas tree itself, I like 2011. You can see some... Some bristles, I guess you could say, some branches. But he it's not fair to say, really. He's hes scooping back a little bit further. Hey, the hamstrings look pretty even here. Maybe even a little bit more diced for 2011. But like I said, guys, really hard to say. Let's go to the mandatory shots. And I begin with the rear lat spread. And much like I thought from the Christmas tree pose, the 2013 version, the hamstrings are better. They're more peeled, they're more diced, and I gotta say, guys, judging from all of the front shots, side shots, and we're starting off the two back, I gotta say, 2013 looking very good for that version. Now, what do I like about 2011? The glutes are a little bit more diced, I think, could be the lighting, but look at the lower half of the lats. You see that? I'll put a little arrow pointing to where I'm talking about. That area, I feel, is a little bit more full. You can definitely see some vascularity. Maybe slightly concaved for 2013. I might be searching here, guys, but I'm telling you, I, I see some, some aspects about 2011. But like I said, as is 2013 all the way. Now, the rear double bicep does actually show what I was describing. The lower lats, they appear to be slightly thicker for 2011. More crisp, if you know what I mean. Now, of course, the hamstrings, again, for 2013. Just a juggernaut. His delts are bigger as well for 2013. Now, look at the glutes, guys. Take a good look. I know some of you guys shy away from that. It's a man's butt, but come on, grow up. It's a muscle, one of the biggest muscles in the human body. And all lighting aside, those glutes are more strided for 2011. So, you know, lower lats, glutes, there is some parts of 2011 that I do appreciate a little bit more. But still, like I keep saying, guys, this is very unfortunate for those of you who were rooting for 2011. Go to the ab and thigh. Now, if there's going to be a pose that 2011 is going to win, it is going to be this pose. And this version is winning. I believe that his lats do look better from the front. Now, we could see that from the front double bicep. One aspect of 2011 that gets a thumbs up. But 2013, maybe a bigger, more vascular set of legs, one could argue. Midsection, not too bad for 2013, but still. When you do a side-by-side -side comparison, definitely his belly button, you can see it's, it's, it's popped out. He definitely had some issues, hernia, things of that nature, guys. Definitely got it out of whack one year later, 2014. You can definitely see the beginning of it here. So, you know, 2011 does does earn one point. Go to the most muscular. We do have a couple. 2013, need I say more, guys? The, the delts, the vascularity. He's bigger. It's just a bigger, more full, more vascular version the only thing that 2011 has here on 2013 is a slightly flatter midsection, I guess you could say. And it's it's really hard to say from the front shots. If you take a really close look, you can see a little bit concaved, I guess, the abs for 2011. A little bit popping out like a, I don't want to say a Ninja Turtle stomach. But if, I mean, if you remember the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, their stomach, their whole, like their front plate looked exactly like Phil Heath's stomach right here for 2013. Anyway, no disrespect meant to the champion. Crab position, same thing here, but it is very hard to gauge. They're not exactly hitting the pose. The same posture, 2013. He's bending down a little bit more, making the arms actually look a little bit fuller, 
But as we know from most of the shots, guys, 2013, bigger, fuller, and just better. So he is your winner of the Friday night. Now, go have your protein shakes, things of that nature, guys. Use the washroom if you need to. And let's bring a ding ding begin the Saturday night show. And quite a difference that 24 hours can make. Phil Heath, 2011, guys. Look at the arms this time. Could it have been the, the dark backdrop of the 2011 last time? The Friday show made his arms look smaller? Or could it be that he just carved up perfectly? And his muscles really showing that. I mean, I'm telling you guys, the arms look better for 2011 now. And of course, the lats, much like the the first shot, although I did give 2013 the front double for the Friday show, but here, the, the, the arms, I gotta say, 2011. And of course, the midsection is still a lot better. It's washed out a lot more. It appears for the Saturday show for 2013. I think he was better for Saturday or for Friday rather, but he's definitely better for Saturday for 2011. So this is not over yet, guys. This is a matchup. The lags do appear to be slightly bigger though. Food for thought for 2013, but the more you look, they're pretty good for 2011. Also go to the front lat spread and we are definitely looking at, at a controversial matchup for sure. The areas where 2013 were winning for Friday, the the vascularity, the size, the cross striations of the chest. Now look at 2011. He appears to be superior in that end. But man, the midsection guys, like I said, much more washed out. I mean, you could see the ab separation for Friday for 2013, but here... It just looks like 2011 is the one running roughshod over 2013, if you can imagine that. Wow, wow. Never would have thought it. Never would have thunk it, so to speak. Side chest pose. And I did think 2013 was superior in this shot. But guys, go rewind it and look at how much more full and vascular he was for 2013. And here, it appears that the 2011 is probably more carved up as far as the vascularity level the conditioning of course i still would say 2013 is larger i mean look at the lags yes the camera angle is creating more of a fullness thickness in them hamstrings but i still would say he is bigger thicker and i personally like the uh the bow how he's bowing his chest out much more in 2013 more of a perf personal preference you can detect slight distension in the midsection, though, for 2013. But that's hardly noticeable in a pose like this. So, you know, 2013, Friday or Saturday, I would say is better in the side chest. Here is the hoo-ha pose. Hoo-ha pose position. Definitely a little thicker in the midsection for 2013. But ditto with the legs. I mean, camera angle or not, those do look like a lot larger the lags, 2013 for sure. But then again, the tricep looks bigger for 2011. Hmm, go figure. No side tricep pose for the, the finals for the Saturday show. Let's have a look at the Christmas tree pose. And this is a fair comparison. I think that they're, they're hitting the shots the exact same way. And look at the hamstrings are the first thing that I notice. 2013 was far superior in that end for Friday. But it looks like 2011 battles back here. It looks like he has equal separation. And I do say, or I would say, that he has uh, more conditioned glutes. I think he has a bit of a badonkadonk. His butt got bigger 2013. As well as the legs. But, I mean, that goes along with the badonkadonk. Kind of ruins the uh, aesthetics. Backwise, these guys are in the identical condition, I would say. So... Let's go to the two mandatories. What a bizarre situation this is, indeed, when it comes to the hamstrings. I mean, the Friday night show, definitely 2013, but here, 2011 in particular, look at his right hamstring, twice as diced 
as it is in 2013. And it's consistent with the glutes. I would say his glutes are better. Slightly smaller, but much more conditioned. And it's an aesthetic thing. I mean, you don't want your glutes too big. You don't want them too small like a midsection, too big like a delt. I mean, it has to be just the right size. Lower lat insertions now. Oh, that's enough with the glutes. I know, I know. Lower lat insertions now. You can definitely see the the 2013 slightly concaved and the bottom right where it attaches to the lat or the the Christmas tree, and 2011 slightly fuller. So this is a, a topsy turvy upside down matchup. I mean, which way are you gonna go? I mean. Friday versus Saturday, and it's the same results in the rear double bicep, in my opinion. Those glutes, much more tight. Hamstrings, probably better, if anything, for 2011. And the lower lat insertions, it looks like a plate, a big steel plate that was placed on his lower back. I mean, it's just incredible. Not quite the detail that 2013, or the 2013 doesn't quite have that detail, but the lighting, I will say... Lighting may be a little bit more favorable for 2011, but I don't know. I don't know. One thing I will say about 2013 that's consistent through this whole matchup, his delts, his shoulder muscles, definitely bigger and better. So, I mean, at the end of the day, people, there's going to be people that are always going to say, oh, no, it's a better version as his muscles are bigger. But anyway, it's not all about size. Go to the ab and thigh. It's a perfect example. But size isn't everything in a pose like this. Midsections, when it comes to that, I mean, a smaller midsection, definitely an advantage. Much more diced in that area for 2011. But to be honest with you, in this shot here, and I I handpicked the very best of the best pitchers, there was a lot of them that leading up to the exact shot that definitely didn't look as good as 2011 did for 2013. But here... I gotta say, side by side, yeah, the midsection's still a little bit more diced, but 2013, giving 2011 a run for his money, so kudos for that version. And I have to say, 2013, definitely making my decision all that much more difficult by finishing off with a decent avant thigh and here in the most muscular. Look at how full his delts are in 2013, and the traps as well. Now, midsection for midsection, it's pretty darn close in a pose like this. Maybe a slight edge to 2011, but really, it's so close. Very close matchup. And 2011, I will give that version the props. Much better in the Saturday show comparison in this most muscular, but... I would say this pose, definitely because of the delts, probably being favored by 2013. Go to the crab position. Now, this is an interesting situation. I don't find the delts all that big in 2013 here. Isn't that strange? They almost look bigger and puffier in 2011. But, I mean, traps, they're, they're a little bit bigger 2013. So, as a whole, there are certain poses... Like the most muscular, that 2013 would get an advantage in the Friday and in the Saturday. So, at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, 2013 has really shown me that he is, or that version is, so much more superior as far as the mass, the size and quality of those delts, and flat out better in all of the Friday shots, or most of them anyway. There was certain midsection dominant poses that, yes, 2011 definitely had winning, or I had winning. But, I mean, you have to give 2013 the props. But on the other side of the token, I bet you you've seen that coming, didn't you? On the other side of the token, there were certain shots, and I know this isn't a pose or anything like that, but go through the entire gallery of 2013 versus the 11 you could definitely see in a lot of the transitions the all-important transitions people forget about and certain ab dominant shots i mean 2011 guys was clearly the superior version and when it comes to phil heath 
that was his Achilles heel. That was his, that was his weakening, his weak spot, his midsection. And when it looked good, I gotta say, he was pretty unbeatable. So, for the end of a third day, I guess, if I keep saying at the end of the day, for those mass monster freaks, 2013 is your clear winner. But for those aesthetic freaks, 2011 is the clear winner. And if you know me, you know that I'm going to go for 2011. That's right, guys, 2011. Now, that is a personal preference. Am I saying that 2013? 13 is a lesser version or 2011 is a far superior version no no but if i have to pick one i'm gonna go for the slight aesthetic edge over the slight mass and vascularity edge anyway guys it's a difficult decision no matter how you slice it and really at the end of the day like i said it could have went either way there is no real true winner but if i mean your back's up against the wall you have to pick a version i'm gonna go with 2011 but i am Almost positive the majority of you bodybuilding fans would go for the mass. Because that's why we watch bodybuilding in the first place, right guys? Anyway, hit thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Have a fantastic day.